quickly on those last two topics, possessions, uh, the one that you had the two opportunities and then the last one is the three points that you had. Um, I thought I had some good looks. Um, I didn't say I make the shot. Um, I got the rebound again, and it just shit just slipped out my hand. You've hit a lot of tough shots throughout the season. It seems like you really want the ball in your hands in those key moments. Do you do you like the pressure pack situations? Like, do you want the ball in those moments and to deliver for your team? I mean, yeah, I, <clears throat> yeah. I thought I, I felt like I had it going in the last two minutes. Um, I got to my spot at the end and had another great look. You know, I can't ask for a better a better opportunity than, than that. Paolo, I know both both sides are missing guys, obviously. The rotations were just all wonky and five man units that probably hadn't been together very much at all. But to hold that team to ninety nine and still have a chance to win, what's that say about the toughness of the group that this could have been one that, you know, with guys out you could have just said meh and you guys didn't do that. Yeah, I mean I, I think that's a game we should have won. You know, I wouldn't really want to take a moral victory. They had their some of their best players out too, so you know, uh, I, I think we played we played well enough to win, and you know, I, you know, I wasn't able to make plays down the stretch for us to win. Um, but give credit to the Heat, you know. But I think we should have won that game. Paolo, uh, this game was in the mud, a low scoring game. Uh, was there anything that you felt as far as the way that the Heat were defending you, where they were sending all that extra help in the paint to try to make you pass? Do you think that affected any of your reads, took you out of your rhythm in any way? Or what was it like to just deal with that? I'm sure you've seen plenty of coverages uh, throughout your time, but uh, how did that affect you tonight? Uh, yeah, it frustrated me a little bit. Um, just, you know, seeing two or three defenders everywhere. But, you know, coach told me to stay patient and, um, you know, told me in the fourth quarter it was going to open up, and that's what happened, you know. So uh, I just got to keep getting better and learn how to deal with different, you know, coverages. I know there's a, there's a lot of frustration frustration right now with, with the way results are going, but with, with all the guys that, that are out, how, how do you kind of find a way to, to, to make do and, and, and keep pushing keep pushing forward? Uh, I mean, we, used to, we don't got no other choice. You know, we got a tough road trip. We got another – tough game tomorrow so you know as a team we can't we can't lay down uh we got to keep playing hard um keep giving ourselves a chance to win you know tonight was was a tough night but uh we just gotta take that same energy that we had tonight and bring it the next couple games we just gotta be able to uh finish better Paul, how big was joe tonight for you guys Joe, Joe. How, how, big oh. was he? how big was he? Uh, he was great, you know. He was great. Um, it was great to have him back. Just his presence out there. Uh, he made some big shots, uh, helped control the, the offense um, in the half court. So uh, it was great to have him.